Eric Mwadith, Mother.com. Let's take a look at the long-term monthly chart for BP going back from 1989 to early 2018. And we're going to take a look at this based on positive or negative divergence. So we can see here major high in 1990 with improving price highs while the technicals made a lower high. That is negative divergence. Whoops. Negative divergence for that major high before we get this drop. We can see another major high here in 2000 as the RSI made lower highs. Again, that is negative divergence during those highs here before we get this drop. And then we see right here there is little bit of a push to fresh lows as the RSI improved in late 2002, early 2003. So that is positive divergence of the RSI before we get this move higher. We see yet another high here as the RSI made lower highs. So that is negative divergence. We see another major low here while the RSI was improving. That is positive divergence before this recovery. And then we see in here, late 2015, there's a push to fresh lows as the RSI improves. And that was good enough for another positive divergence. And that's the most recent low before the move into 2018. So the moral of the story here at major turns, either for bullish signals or for bearish signals, generally you're going to see evidence of positive and or negative divergence. So we should be always on the lookout for those major signals when an instrument is looking to turn from a major drop or from a major rally. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.